that a chopper? Nah. Enemy presence detected. Ooh, he's coming too. Roger that. Shit. This just got interesting. Fucking hell, here we go. Oof, thank you, quiet. Hands up. But is he? He's the guy. Spit it out. No, I took care of that. Take care of your little reinforcements. Unless you're talking about some more. Analysis Which case, complete. shit. Analysis complete. You gotta extract him. Analysis complete. Boss, we fully decrypted the VI data. Now the target's hiding place should be clear as day. Oh. Your Wasn't that good? So yeah, somewhere here, huh? Oh hell. Oh wow, that actually got him, we'll be damned. Shit, he's got a helmet. Great. Okay, I'm just gonna take all of them. <laughs> She's right there, fuckhead. Oh, nice. Analysis. Whoop. Come here, you. Come here. Subject on taking you. Leave the rest to us. Why? Cause I fucking can. That's why. I guess they had two uh, reinforcements. That's fine. Took care of them all the same. Maybe not as tactfully as I would have cared for, but oh, wow, shit. Analysis. Oh shit! Glad I didn't kill these guys. Very glad. Damn. You guys are going to be a welcomed addition to Mother Base. I will tell you that. So, on behalf of myself, welcome. Hopefully, uh, I'll slow this time to torture your ass. Because he's, uh, he's pretty good at it, to say the least. Okay, so... Yeah, What's-his-face should be there. Shortly. Clear I'm just gonna scroll through this real quick. Wait for this fucking sandstorm to pass. I don't have much else. Uh, much else I can do, really. All right. Uh, yeah, get rid of the gas masks, please. Unit dispatched. And shotguns. Yes, get rid of those god awful shotguns. Unit dispatched. All right, the storm's still not passed fully yet, though. Right? Yep. 
And I definitely want these freaking guys. There we go. Mine. Probably should have woke one of them up to tell me where the stuff's at, but eh. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Shit, are you kidding? Are there more? Yeah, there's more. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Wait, how don't? Why don't you have eyes on them? What's going on? Fire. Nice. Fire. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, well maybe it's somewhere down here. Maybe I'm stupid again. That's that's always a good chance. Um Yeah, target field of movement. Hold on. Let's use that. Picking up anything? It's got some here, but it's probably just that uh, animal. Yeah. Canister. Oh no, it's just the damn little animal again. Maybe it's further up. Because, uh. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look. I really wish I had fucking left one of those guys right now, though. No, they wouldn't have it up here. What the? There's diamond. You have arrived at your destination. I have. Um. Down there. Was that the animal? That's just now. Something. Okay. Help me out here. What's what's going on? Look for terrain that matches the BI. The target has to be hidden there. Okay. Okay, so it's by a pot. Great. Probably only knocked over a dozen pots. Uh that looks promising. Yay! You've completed your objective. Now get out of the hot zone. Mission info has been updated. Okay, cool. Done and done. Please select a landing zone. The support helicopter Roger. requested. Why we are GTFOing out it no wait. We are GTFOing here? Yeah? No, GTFOing ing out of here. Whatever, we're getting out of here. That's the point. Oh, we're all pretty successful if I say so myself. And I will. So I did. So, yeah. Not bad. There she comes. Faster, quiet, faster. Where'd she go? Lost her. Oh, damn! I love you, Quiet. Hello, Pequod. Cool. Another one under the bell. Sorry. Gotta have a drink. Mmm. <clears throat> That's it. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. Awesome. I'm the best around. Mission complete. Great work. Thank you.
I forgot to look at what bear means. Remind me to do that right after we get done here. Oof. Oh yeah, informants report and <laughs> hamburgers of Kazuhiro Miller three. Okay, good, cool. A pluses. I'd like to see that. I'd like to start seeing some S's show up though. A's aren't bad, but we've only gotten a few S's that weren't just given to us. Side ops list updated. Boss, I have a quick report for you here. We've discovered a radiation leak in the laboratory on the quarantine platform. What? It's coming from testing equipment we installed the other day. Members of the medical team have been conducting research there. But we'll evacuate them all from the research block to the containment block next to it. Emmerich. There's no need to worry. No radioactive material is leaked, so the contamination won't spread. We just need to seal off the testing equipment. I've dispatched the security team to get the researchers out. I'll keep you updated. Oh, look, we got another one of those guys. Cool. Um, you know what? Let's, um, find these kids first. Search for the escape children number one and two. Please select a landing zone. Shit. Heading to I'm kind of hoping they've taken it over. And I say that because if that's the case, we can easily just deal with it. Ugh. Otherwise, I don't know. Because I do have the Fulton now that will allow me to actually Fulton the kids out. So that's, that's huge. At least in my book, that is huge. Oof. All right. Let's get these kids back, find out. And you know, they might have, I mean, could only be up temporary leave now that I think about it. Like maybe they were being sent out by Eli to get something or distract us, like Zadornoff and Paws. That's very likely. Although I'm gonna slap people if they seriously fall for that same shit twice. I mean, really, it's fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. Either way, they're... us and our people are dumb if we seriously let the same exact thing happen again. They a chopper. Okay, hold well, on. Let's listen to that tape Where, that we got from the informants. Part one. Holy hell! Three parts. We finished decoding the informants' report. That floating kid we've run into a few times now. Looks like he was a test subject in clinical experiments. The Soviets called him the third boy. The third boy was brought to a lab on the outskirts of Moscow from Czechoslovakia, after which he was due to be sent to a research center in Leningrad, then Siberia, and finally an academic town in Novosibirsk. It doesn't appear that the researchers witnessed the talents we've seen from him, but nevertheless, he was quite the popular subject. His latent cognitive abilities suddenly awoke en route to Moscow. According to the report, the third boy was easily influenced by other individuals' biofields. Evil thoughts, in particular. They affected his mind like a virus. Extreme anger or resentment, motives for revenge, in other words. Now, during the transport flight to Moscow, the boy was exposed to a powerful mental energy field coming from a certain individual. Ever since, boss, you need to find those kids who escaped. He's fighting still the only way of life they know. If we don't bring them back, they'll just end up getting killed. He's getting taken over by another person's will. 
Fuck. The boy began to physically parasitize individuals experiencing extreme anger and codify the host's desires. This includes amplifying the host's natural strengths. Or, in accordance with the host's desires, he can also implant program code in another individual, making them a puppet, essentially. Human neural synapses transmit weak electrical currents between neurons. These electrical currents, though at a level difficult to observe, warp the magnetic field outside the body. The third boy is... Shit! Fuck! Enable you to sneak past enemies. Great, here we go. Which involves controlling the human mind. His ability as a receptor are too high. The emotions he picks up from another individual are amplified and unleashed into his body as they recur in his brain. They turn into microwaves, which then affect the physical world, triggering paranormal phenomena like the spontaneous combustion of organic matter or psychokinesis, you know, moving an object without touching it. There's one other thing. While he's parasitizing the host, the boy's ego gets shut away, allowing the will of the host to take control of his powers, like some annoying static drowning out your own voice. That means he isn't responsible for what's been happening. Somebody's extreme anger has manifested through the third boy's powers in ways none of us could have predicted, which would mean this was going on somewhere around us. Looking back on it, a lot of things make sense now. The man on fire, saw Lanthropus. They both came to life thanks to the third boy's powers. Everything has been happening through him as a catalyst. We first saw him in the hospital on Cyprus. The boy parasitizing the man on fire's desire for revenge gave him his new abilities in return. He next appeared at the Hamid fighter's fort where the honeybee was hidden. There, the boy parasitized Skullface's vengeful mind. He controlled Sahelanthropus, making it do whatever Skullface wanted. Same goes for when we extracted Emmerich onto the chopper. When he appeared at the Devil's House in Central Africa, Skullface's will controlled the man on fire via the third boy's powers. Everything is clear up to this point. But even the informant couldn't pinpoint who the host was in the cave within Surat power plant. Sahelanthropus suddenly became active, then crushed not only the man on fire, but Skullface as well. Surely neither of them could have been the host. Who else was at that location and bore anger more extreme than either of them? Whose will was controlling Sahelanthropus? According to the report, emotions transmitted in children's brains affect the surrounding magnetic field more strongly. Cerebral nerves are covered with insulation called myelin sheaths to increase impulse speed. The reason for this leakage has to do with the fact that children's myelin sheaths are still you know he's trying to... So, how many children do you remember being there? Children with a burning desire for revenge and bearing a grudge against you. I can think of only one. Eli. We don't know what kind of life he's had, but the resentment he's shown toward adults is nothing short of extraordinary. The third boy resonated with Eli's mind. And that means Eli bore the strongest animosity of all individuals within the boy's reception range, estimated to be a three-mile radius, beating out... Hmm. probably remain hooked on Eli's anger since. Remember the devil's house? The third boy showed an interest in Shabani? That must have been his ego making a rare appearance. He may possess abilities far beyond... He's coming too. Roger that. But he's still a kid. Maybe them both being kids was enough to bring them together. And if so, maybe with Eli, he isn't feeding off him, but acting in symbiosis with him. So what kickstarted the third boy's powers? If we look at the location and time that his plane went down, we can make a pretty good guess. When the plane experienced the first anomaly, it gave an accurate report of its position to a control tower, due north of the Black Sea, 125 miles east of Kiev. 
Dead south in the Black Sea is Cyprus's Greenland. So the plane's position was directly north of the hospital where you have been asleep for nine years. And this anomaly was reported at exactly the same time that you woke up. The plane was enveloped in flame from the inside out. The fuselage burnt to ashes. There were no survivors. At least not publicly admitted. Your thoughts formed a synchronicity with the boy's psyche and were Another amplified inside complete. his brain. That would have been more than enough to trigger Another his abilities. Complete. Your Another rage was complete. like a big bang in his head, blowing the lid off his powers. The boy was then secretly moved to the lab outside of Moscow where Volgan was comatose. There, Volgan's thoughts resonated with the boy and he was awakened. Volgan became the man on fire, hell-bent on getting revenge on you. His instincts led him straight to you. Skullface knew Volgan from Operation Snake Eater, or perhaps from even before. Monitoring this pair of experiments, you gotta extract him. Discovered the hospital and sent his assassin and XOF. Skullface was probably watching the situation from close by. Then, realizing how useful these two test subjects could be, he approached them. Reacting to Skullface's thirst for revenge, this subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Volgan, at times driven by personal revenge, at times through Skullface's will, kept on moving, though his body was little more than dead meat. Perhaps there were moments where even your thoughts affected him as well. But without the boy's power, it was like the plug had been pulled from the socket. Everything was powered by anger. He's coming too. Roger that. This is how the end of the report sums things up. Both the third boy and the man on fire were originally test subjects of paranormal research for military... Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. ...controlling the leader of an enemy nation and making him launch a nuke. We're stopping the heart of someone on the wrong side of the Berlin Wall. Experimenting with latent human abilities. He's coming too. Roger that. ...as tools of the Cold War. The boy's only crime was being born with unique gifts. Being sacrificed on the altar of war. His life reduced to slavery under other people's wills. Turned into a living weapon with no will of his own. And eventually the only emotion he could feel must have been the desire to get revenge for the hand he'd been dealt. Boss, it's you that awakened the boy's powers. But there's more to it than that. I guess the anger emanating from you was something he could truly relate to. Crazy. Like, that's fucking absolutely crazy. To think that we woke up praying mantis. Hey, I got you, buddy. Alright, now I'm gonna fault you. Ready? Here you go. Bye bye. List updated. Okay, subject is in. Okay. Construction arrived at mother base. Fuck that. Good. Development project. Wormhole. Ooh. Hold on a moment. Wormhole. For the full, right? Show me. Where are you? God damn it. Um, there you are. Oh my god, that costs a ton. Wow. Oh dear. Alright, let's call him the chopper. We'll call her in right now. suck. Gotcha. Gotcha. Quiet, what are you doing? Quiet. Huh. 
All right, cool. I'm kind of surprised it was only one boy, though. Definitely would have figured it would have been more. Shit. 